All right, so we are back, and this weekend, while we here at the Wade Concept were watching the UFC 273, everybody in stream, I appreciate you coming by, had a blast there. But something interesting happened in the YouTube boxing scene. Not many people are talking about it, but you guys know me. Just like a puffer fish that feels threatened, I have to expand on it. Let me explain because we're talking about KSI who this weekend was doing a shoot for the new company he's partnered with Adidas and he was hitting one of those punching machine bags and I watched him hit the bag and immediately a light went off in my head just like a light went off in my studio. This thing no longer works and what that video made me think about is KSI's power. We hear all the time about how KSI has ridiculous power from guys like Vidal, Faye Sensei, even Logan Paul who has been in a fight with him. They all say KSI cracks he hits hard so why do these guys that are so experienced these guys that have fights under their belts that have been hit hard by other guys why are they saying ksi's power is just different well i think i got answers so let's talk about it the breakdown let's go all right so this was the the footage i was talking about this weekend ksi on the punching bag machine even though he is very unorthodox it's a bit of an advantage for ksi to be this kind of puncher so let's take a look <laughs> Can you imagine getting hit like that, being knocked out unconscious, and you wake up to this sound? <laughs> you got knocked out by a guy whose laugh sounds like the Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> and again, this looks like a pitcher off a pitcher's mound about to lay in a fastball. I would normally say that KSI is not going to throw punches like this, but I've seen KSI in almost every fight he's ever been in throw punches like this. KSI is a bit of an unorthodox brawler type. That's what he is, at least at his core. Here comes the hit. Look at the rotation all the way around. Boom. Now again, he catches that, and you heard the guy say that, on his wrist. So if he actually catches this on the fist, and in the center of the bag, he's kind of off to the outside here. This is a heavy punch, no doubt. But something you notice, as he throws it, his hips stop and his back leg comes off the ground. So on contact, boom, it becomes an arm punch from there. Now look, his shoulder's moving, shoulder's moving, shoulder's moving, hips are not. He's falling in with those hips. So it was hip, 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 boom, and then it was arm all the way after that. So he could have even had a more powerful punch here had he just rotated those hips all the way across just like he did with his shoulder, right? And again, it has tells like Mother Goose from the fucking nursery rhymes. In other words, you can see it coming from a mile away. You're not fooling anyone. It still generates a ton of power. Now let's talk about why. Nothing I'm about to say is indicative of anybody winning or losing a fight. We're strictly talking about KSI's power and where it comes from and why everyone seems shocked by it. Truth is, KSI's power on its own, outstanding, isn't the greatest thing that anyone's ever seen. And I don't think guys like Vidal, Faye Sensei, Leon Wills, or Logan Paul are saying that. I think what they're saying and the real truth behind why KSI's power is so devastating is because his mindset allows him to go to places others won't. Just the dog mentality inside him to say, I don't care if it looks good. I don't care if the technique's sound. You may even see it coming from a mile away, but I'm gonna hurt you. And my first comparison to try to prove this is the Logan Paul fight. Logan is a better technical boxer than KSI is. I know the comment section is gonna go crazy over that, but just go watch the video, the first one I made. It was a couple years ago. I broke it down pretty simple for you. And that's why when it came to the fight itself, being more technical wasn't a strategy of JJ's to do in the first place. He was gonna go in and throw big bangs and push Logan back with that pressure and try to navigate his range by just throwing massive overhands around the guard, around the guard. A couple of those did land, one of which put Logan down. That is what makes KSI's power so special. That is why he has a power advantage even in the Logan fight when the guy was bigger than he was and the guy was stronger than he was and on its surface the guy genetically is going to throw bigger power than KSI will if they just line up in front of a punching bag machine which we saw. KSI threw a more technical right hand. He kind of cocked it out to the side and tried to split a right cross down the pipe. And it was effective. He hit the bag hard, sure. But Logan, on the other hand, threw a punch I've never seen him throw in a fight. Again, the same one we almost saw him snap his hand off with when he was throwing it in some other foreign country on one of his alcohol benders to find new creativity. But we did see him throw a massive overhand, real rotation behind his hips. Coming from the damn ground, he threw it and it generated more power. It's an easy concept. It's simple. The harder you throw a shot, it's going to generate more. Who's willing to go into the fire to get that shot to land? And who's willing to do it in a fight? And this adds to my point that KSI in a fight situation 
is a bigger power puncher than even Logan is because he's willing to do what Logan won't. But how would JJ's power stack up against guys like Austin McBroom or Alex Wasabi? Two possible fights for him coming up. And the Alex Wasabi fight, of course, that is a fairly simple one. But Austin, I would like to see more of because I know KSI is still bigger than Austin as, a, as an individual. But the way that Austin generates power, and it wasn't necessarily fully on display, but it is a bit of the same things we see from KSI. There is a little bit of that same kind of reckless demeanor with Austin too. He's not afraid to go in and throw big time shots. Shots. But seeing as Austin is a more straight punch thrower and his hooks mainly come off the lead hand, I would still lean to KSI and his power in a fight between those two because of what KSI was able to do in that Logan fight. Again, I think it's really undersold that KSI was able to knock Logan down. For KSI to do that to Logan at 200 pounds is a pretty fucking big deal and it's the biggest feather in his cap for his power. But the question was, is KSI the most powerful in YouTube boxing? And I know if we're talking about the most powerful guy, and he may not be a YouTube to boxer anymore but that's where he started we have to talk about jake paul this is the one guy that i would say that at his weight and this is a fight that probably won't happen don't get your hopes up i'm just saying if it did ksi can't just outpower jake paul like he did versus logan that's not going to happen one jake's more experienced two jake is the same type of dog not everyone's built like that logan is not built like that most guys in this youtube boxing scene are not built like that to see a massive right hand come directly across their face and not be phased by it and want to get back into that range to throw a right hand of their own or to mix it up and see what happens. Jake has put down every single person he's fought except Deji. And yes, you can throw the caveats out. He was bigger than Gibb. I understand that. He was bigger than Nate Robinson. I understand that. Ben Askren, I'm fucking tired of talking about Ben Askren. <laughs> And if you're going to try to make the excuse, well, Tyron Woodley's 40 and Jake was taller than he is, and stop. All right, just stop. Tyron Woodley was a massive step up in competition, and Jake showed an ability again to put him down with one shot. And this is where I have to disagree with a lot of the people that say that KSI is the most powerful puncher in YouTube boxing, or his power is unheard of because maybe in the scene that he resides in now, yes, absolutely. And again, in an Alex fight, yes, KSI's power will overrule him. Austin fight, I think KSI's power and his ability to show it is a big difference there because Austin hasn't really been touched like that to be like, what the fuck was that? But Jake has been by a big puncher in Tyron Woodley, rocked him, and then came back and gave him some more. So if that fight is to ever happen, that power that KSI has relied on will not be enough. KSI's real power isn't how hard he hits, isn't his unorthodox technique, it's his mental state that allows him to go to places that other people will not. That's why he'll throw 100% power behind shots. It's why he's willing to get hit to land one of his bombs. And it's why he was able to and had the confidence to go after Logan Paul, who was the bigger, stronger, faster, more genetically powerful guy, comes from here and it delineates everything he does. But let me know if you guys agree with me. Why is KSI so powerful? Why does he hit so hard? Why does everyone say this? That's my theory. You guys let me know yours down below. And the biggest question is, when do we get to see that power again? Not on the punching machine bullshit that we already just saw, but some actual boxing, sparring, in the ring, in a fight. August is the rumored date. Wasabi is the rumored opponent. I don't know any of those answers, but in the late summer, Guess we'll find out. <laughs>